Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an Epson ET-2760 all-in-one printer that is not connecting to Wi-Fi. I'll be going over the easiest fixes in this easy but full and complete tutorial. Let's get right into the video, okay? So basically, if your printer is not connecting to Wi-Fi, I'm going to tell you how to solve the problem. Now, before I get into this, I'm going to tell you what I see on my screen right here because it does hold some significance with the problem that you might have and that I might have if it wasn't connecting to Wi-Fi. It says a new firmware is released. Update the firmware from the setup menu. Okay, I'm going to hit OK to clear that out, but it's telling me that there's a new firmware there, which does hold some significance um, with regards to with regards to uh, it not connecting to Wi-Fi potentially, okay? So the first thing that you can do, I'm going to go over five easy fixes. I'm going to start with the easiest ones, work my way to the more complex ones, but they're all rather, rather simple for the most part. So number one, the first thing that you can do is unplug your router and modem for one minute and then plug them back in. So your wireless router, your internet modem, you want to unplug them for a minute, plug them back in. Sometimes the internet just needs to like restart, right? Sometimes there's like a little glitch or malfunction or error and you just got to unplug it for a minute and plug it back in and then that will sometimes solve the problem so give it a try unplug your all your wi-fi stuff unplug them for one minute plug them back in let them boot up again and hopefully that fixes the problem okay and you know obviously take a look at if maybe your other devices are experiencing wi-fi problems as well because if your other devices are experiencing wi-fi problems it's probably not the printer it's probably your wi-fi in general okay so number two move the printer closer to the router. So essentially, you know, Wi-Fi loses its connectivity rating as you go further away, especially depending upon the actual product. Now, luckily, this has a pretty strong Wi-Fi connector inside of it. I don't know what the, the technological term is, but I call it a Wi-Fi connector, right? Some devices have great Wi-Fi antennas. That's the word I'm looking for um, inside of them, and others have much smaller, not so great ones. This one is a really good one, but you, you know, maybe there's lots of obstructions. Maybe there's brick walls. Maybe there's a great distance different levels of the house, different stories, different floors, right? So move the printer like right beside your Wi-Fi router and try and set it up again, try and connect it again. If it connects close to the Wi-Fi router but not further away, then that usually means that it's just a matter of distance or obstructions. So maybe you need a Wi-Fi repeater or a mesh system, something that basically allows you to get a stronger Wi-Fi signal throughout the house, a Wi-Fi extender. You can look into those things, okay? Because it's usually just a matter of distance or obstructions at that point. Number three, try to update the printer's firmware. This might be the cause. Now, when a printer has an updated firmware, it's just an update for the, the software essentially on the printer that the printer is using to run whatever it's running, okay? So maybe, like when they update the firmware, usually they sort of fix problems and they fill in gaps and they clear out errors and stuff like that. They update various things with regards to the software in the device. So mine has an updated firmware that I have to actually go and do. Okay, so if I was experiencing Wi-Fi problems with this printer, I would update the firmware and I would, you know, I would try and do it. Now, it's, it, I, as far as I know, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi to update the firmware. So if you're, if you're not able to connect to Wi-Fi uh, to update the firmware, there are other ways that you can update it. So go ahead and look into the other ways that you can update your printer's firmware that are not related to connecting to Wi-Fi and try and update the firmware to the newest firmware um, through manually without having to connect to Wi-Fi. And hopefully that solves your problem, right? If you do have a new firmware, like you check your printer's firmware and see if it's up to date, right? Because if it's not connected to Wi-Fi, it might not let you know that it's out of date. So check and see if it's up to date online. If it's not up to date, then update it. And that might solve your problem. If that doesn't work, you're going to move on to number four. Because once again, number three was try to update the firmware. Okay. Number four is factory reset the printer. Okay. Um, now, if you go to the, uh, I believe it's the settings menu or the setup menu, you can actually go to the reset option and it'll give you various options to reset. Now you can reset just specific aspects of the printer and you can try that out. But if none of those work, just factory reset it. You'll lose everything on the printer, but it only takes not, it doesn't take that long to set it up again. So it's just worth it because you're going to start fresh and you're going to make sure that it's not a problem with, like, with an error or a glitch or a malfunction. Because if it's an error that you can't clear out, factory resetting it will hopefully clear that out and 
and uh, just, you just have to set it up again. Like I said, you're going to lose all information, all data, all connectivity on it. But when you set it up again, it doesn't take that long. And if it connects to your Wi-Fi and your router and your modem after factory reset, but not before the factory reset, like if the factory reset solves your problem, then essentially you know it was a system, uh, like a software glitch, um, error malfunction. It's not a hardware issue at that point. It's probably a software issue that you probably cleared up. You know, technological devices aren't perfect, right? Technology is not perfect. Things need to be reset, restarted every once in a while. Okay. On a side note, I didn't include this option in my notes, but you can try and actually just unplug the printer for a minute and plug it back in. That's like a soft reset for your printer. Sometimes that will clear up any errors, malfunctions, or glitches that the printer is experiencing. So I didn't include it in my notes. I only included five other things, but that's almost like a bonus sixth one, okay? So we went over number four, which was factory reset the printer. We went over the bonus sixth one, which was unplug the printer for a minute and plug it back in. And now here's the fifth one. We're backtracking to my original notes again, which is go and check with your internet provider if there's something blocking your printer from connecting to your Wi-Fi. Sometimes you have a firewall or you have some security thing in your Wi-Fi built into your internet service provider options that is going to prevent your printer from connecting as a security um, thing or as a, like as a firewall thing. Just go ahead and call your internet service provider and ask them if there's anything that you can look at or anything that they can look at as to why the printer would not be able to be connecting to your Wi-Fi because maybe it's something that's built into your internet just as a, as a, as a security measure. That's it. If your Epson ET-2760 all-in-one wireless printer is not connecting to Wi-Fi, um, those are some easy, the easiest fixes you can try out in this simple tutorial. I was supposed to tell you about five. I told you about a bonus one. So you got six and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.